All right, I'm addicted to my garrison. I've really enjoyed working on improving it, and I like how you need to achieve certain goals or achievements to unlock higher level buildings and higher quality followers. So this episode, I'm going to be working on my garrison, backfilling some of the things that I missed in Draenor, and finishing up a few reputations in Pandaria. Let's go ahead and start working on our garrison. So I need to get to stables to level two. There we go. Got stables level two. And this is the last level two building that I can do without getting any of the further achievements inside the garrison. And we can upgrade our docks to level two. I've been waiting to do this on video. Also, this whole entire time, I've been sending out my followers on missions and doing the same thing with the boats. Here we go, upgrading the fleet. We got shipyard level two. And we can pick up the next quest. Here we go. Learning the plans for the submarine. Now we can go to our shipbuilder. We can go ahead and build a submarine. Let's see, start work order. And I'm pretty sure we have some of the rush orders. There we go. Submarine is complete and we got a rare one. Let's go ahead and do one more submarine. Okay, we can't because we don't have the oil. That's okay. We'll, we'll work on getting the oil soon. All right, now we can send our ships out on missions. Okay, we can't. We don't have the oil. What am I doing? That's going to be one of the first things that we do is go work on getting more oil for our ships. I haven't done any of the quests in the garrison since the last episode. So let's go ahead and pick all of these up. Here we go. Iron Horde Invasion. It looks like a scenario in here. Go ahead and pick up this quest here as well. And this will give us a garrison jukebox. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm assuming that lets us change the music inside of the garrison while we're in here. We can unlock the menagerie by doing this quest right here. Um, I believe this will give us access to the auction house, but I'm not entirely sure. I know these parts are pretty expensive, but I'll look into this and see if this is something that I want to do. We can go ahead and pick up the daily quest from the stables. We can also pick up the quest from the lumber mill. There we go. Let's get to it. So we need to pick something up from... Oh, here's the strange stone. I see it right here. Nice. And that's it. Oh, okay. That was pretty simple. Continue. Turn this in. To get the garrison pet menagerie, we need to defeat three pests in our garrison. We could probably do that. It's this guy right here. Hopefully we have the... Okay, yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> I was going to say, hopefully we have the people to beat these guys, but apparently these pets that I already have leveled up are doing just fine. Nice. That is the first pet completed. Oh, here's the carrot guy. Ooh, we're weak. Our attacks are weak against the carrot guy. Let's go ahead and trade out for this soft shell. This attack should do a ton of damage. Okay, it just killed him instantly. A thousand damage. Wow. Also, sorry about the chat. Ever since the update, I haven't been able to turn off any of like the trade chats or the general chats. So I'm going to do my best to keep turning it off with like a macro that I have. But I'm assuming it'll just keep turning back on. So there's really nothing I can do. And it's actually just got bugged out now. Let's fight Gnaw Face. Okay, yeah, this guy, this guy hits pretty hard. Here we go. That's the third pet down. Now we can go ahead and turn this in. There we go. That's the pet menagerie level one. Oh. I'm assuming these are the pets that I have. Oh, that's so cool. It works the same as the stable where it puts, you know, the stable puts a couple of your mounts in there. And this pet menagerie puts some of your pets in here as well. And the rest of these are going to be pet battles. I'm not really going to mess with any of that right now. Okay, we can pick up this quest this daily quest right here as well. Let's get started. You need to get some timber from this tree over here. Right here. I see it. I can't really see my chat, but I'm assuming we got some timber out of that. I can go talk to Justin. Turn this in, and we got the apprentice logging. We can collect 10 pieces of timber around Draenor and place it for the work order. Okay. 
I can do that. Let's go ahead and get 10 timber real quick. So it's not just any of these trees. It has to be the specific yellow dots on the mini map. Okay, we got four timber from that. And the tree right here should be able to finish this quest. That is complete. I'm going to go tame a silver pelt over here. I wonder if I can do this without getting off my mount. Oh, I can. Can I fly away and still get credit for it? I can. Okay, perfect. I'll just be doing this every time I fly through the area now. Okay, we need to get a silver pelt. I have to be mounted. Let's see. Here we go. So it looks like I have to run with it. Okay, I can do that. Aiming two minutes remaining. Okay, that's an annoying daily quest. Okay, but only took a minute. Oh, that was okay. That wasn't too bad. Let's go ahead and turn these two in real quick. Oh, wow. There's so many trees around here. Let's go ahead and turn this quest in to Justin for the work order. Turn this in. We get 100 garrison resources. Harvest another timber sample. Okay, this will allow me to harvest medium-sized timber. That's going to be kind of nice to unlock. I wonder how much timber I get from the medium trees. So the small ones give me four or five. Maybe these would give me like eight. Oh, this guy comes in on a helicopter. Okay, it, it's not going to tell me, it looks like, because this is for the quest. But after this, I can go check on it real quick. There we go. Turn this in. And now we can do the medium size logs. Let's see. Let's go ahead and turn this in into Fanny. Get our garrison resources. Let's venture off and start working on the jukebox. These are small timber trees. That's still a small timber tree. Oh, I just got a random quest. So I need to kill these guys and get parts for the jukebox, it looks like. Oh, no, just one part. Okay, we got that part there. I'm going to keep going south and turn both of these quests in real quick that I have down here. And it looks like there's another part all the way down south. So we can grab that on the way back. I'm assuming this is just like a regular tree. Yeah, it is. Okay. There we go. No, that was a medium one. Okay, that one gave me nine timber. There we go. And I just finished some quests. Okay. Got a free title with that. Okay. So that last quest was the storyline. And since we got exalted with them in the last episode, we got the title for finishing the story and getting exalted with them. We just got the jukebox piece that was down here. And now the other pieces are in Talador. So let's make our way over there. Okay. These guys should drop another piece. Nice. Got it on the first try. The next piece is in the grand. Let's fly all the way over there. And the other piece should be over here. Nice. The base blaster. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take that from you. The last piece is going to be in Gorgrond. But I know we need to do our daily assault mission all the way back in Talador. So let's go ahead and stop by there and complete that as well. I believe the assault is just kill mobs in this area. So that shouldn't take me too long. Okay, there we go. Now let's head to Frostfire Ridge because we have a daily quest right here. And then we'll finish up in Gorgrond. Nice. There it is. That is completed. One of these guys should drop the Cord of Wood. Okay. There's just the first one. Perfect. Now we can go back to the garrison. We can turn this into the Scout Valdez. Here we go. We get a thousand Apexes crystals. Let's go ahead and turn the quest in for the jukebox. There we go. Nice. And we can open this music box. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, this is going to give us some of the basic songs. There we go. Turn all of those in. And I'm assuming, yeah, you can get the rest of the music from just drops from older raids, dungeons, and stuff like that. You know what? I think I am going to go ahead and do the, the auction house. I have a lot of these pieces in my bags, and it's going to free up a little bit of space. So... Let's go ahead and look at what we need. So we have these pieces. I know you can buy these from the auction house as well. I think I have some of the more expensive parts already. Hopefully the rest of it doesn't cost me too much, but we shall see. So the auction house and we're back. I ended up buying all of the pieces that I was missing for the auction house. Luckily, I had most of the expensive pieces. So all of these pretty much ran me like 1500 to 2000 gold a piece. So let's go ahead and combine all of these. And this is going to be the last piece. Nice. Okay. Now we talk to this guy, turn these in. And we have the auction house right here in our garrison. Nice. 
That's awesome. Next, we can go ahead and do the scenario. Let's talk to the sergeant right here. Oh, this is so cool. Look, everyone's running for cover. Everyone's running to their posts. Well, let's go ahead and take care of their scouts. What's this VP counter up here? Hmm. Don't really know what it does, but hopefully we'll find out here in a second. Oh, the assault is eight minutes long. Eight minutes of just straight fighting, I guess. Okay, I'll take you to the town hall. I gotcha. I'll rescue you. Oh, wow. Hey, that's... uh, I paid for those roads. Stop messing them up. Well, we got a brute coming in, and he's dead. We're more than halfway done. We're sitting at 379 points. This is... uh. This is kind of cool. I like it. I think there's like an achievement for doing all of these assaults. I'm not quite sure. I would have to look after. Go ahead and kill everything out here. We got another horde spy. There we go. Got him taken care of. There's some hurt garrison people over here. I can save them. Never mind. They just got saved on their own. We got another terrified worker. I always say this is the least fun out of all of the missions that they have. It takes so long to run all the way up here. So I wonder if you can fail these, like, I guess if you died, maybe, or if you lost too many troops, but I don't think, like, the troops aren't really taking much damage, and it would be kind of hard to get overran by these, so I don't, I really don't think you can fail these. We got some people we can heal up right here. We got five more seconds, and we survived the assault. Nice. Kill the remaining horde, and this is the last one. Back to the town center. Lumber mill intact plus 10. Everything intact plus 10. Okay, I'm getting more points because everything was intact. And now we need to kill the boss. There we go. All done. Ooh, I just got a ton of achievements. Okay. Silver defender. Bronze defender. That is complete. How come no gold defender? It goes all the way up to platinum. I see. I think I'm just going to keep going and doing all of these garrison assaults. I looked at it and there's actually a lot of achievement points blocked behind this. So I'm going to keep these short, but I'm going to go ahead and do some of these. Let's see how far we can get. Okay, for this one, I really want to try to get gold at least. So I'm going to like actively clear these mobs out now. I actually didn't see, but it says the bonus objective right here. It tells you how many points you need for like silver. I'm assuming once you get past 600, it'll tell you how much you need for gold. Okay, yeah, it did. So we need to get 1,000 points for gold. Looks like we're keeping a pretty good pace on this one. We're almost all the way up to where we were last time at the 8-minute mark. We should be able to get to gold pretty easily. Now we need to kill the remaining horses. We're getting a whole bunch of points for everything not being burnt down. I believe now we need to kill the boss. Here we go. It's dead. We just got a ton of achievements as well. Gold Defender, Platinum Defender. Let's go ahead and open these and see if there's anything cool in there. Okay. There's like parts for the trading post. Looks like there's a ton of chances at mounts and like different pets. Okay. There's four chances. I see. Let's see what he has over here. The Shadow Moon Invasion. I'll do this one as well real quick. Now we just need to kill this boss right here. And that's complete. That's the Shadow Moon clan invasion done. With those invasions complete, I'd like to move on to our next thing on my checklist, which is to get more oil. One of the ways that you can get oil is by doing the daily quest here in the Tanan jungle. And there's like four rares that also drop oil. But after doing some research on Wildhead, turns out you can just buy it from the auction house. Bulging barrel of oil. That's 250 oil a piece. And oh, wow. Okay. There's only 13 on the market. I'm just going to go ahead and buy all of these and just stock up for a while. Even though these are 250 a piece, I think these are going to be worth it. I'll just buy out the whole auction house. Time to claim all of our oil. There we go. Let's claim all these real quick. We can go ahead and queue up another submarine now that we can afford it. Nice. And we also have the work order. Yep. Here it is. Second submarine done. Let's finish claiming the rest of this oil. And then we can send our ships out on some missions. There we go. All right. Let's see. What do we have? Looks like we have a blockade mission here. That we can send both of our boats on. We have something over here. Ooh, that's a pretty terrible chance at finishing this. Don't want these boats to get destroyed. So I'm going to send these out for some more experience. The ships are sent out. 
Next, I'd like to work on my professions, specifically the herbalism. Once we get 500 seeds in Draenor, we'll be able to unlock the herb garden level three. So I'll be working on that and also maxing out my herbalism. Let's go ahead and put that on my tracking bar and let's get to work. This should hit us level 60 herbalism. Just 15 more levels to go. It looks like we're getting anywhere between one and three of these Drainix seeds. So I'm assuming it'll probably take me anywhere between 75 and 100 nodes to be able to finish this achievement right here. There we go. We just hit 70 herbalism. Just five more levels and we should be done. And this right here should hit us max level. Let's see. Oh, 75 is not the max level. Oh, it's 100. Okay. It's different than pretty much every single expansion before that. Now that I'm looking at it, I never got Cataclysm Herbalism to max level. I should end up doing that at some point. That's okay. We still need to get these herbs anyways, because I still need somewhere around like 40 more seeds, 38 more seeds. Nice. That's 80. That was 90. Just 10 more levels until we've maxed out Herbalism. 95. 100. There we go. The Professional Draenor Master of Herbalism. That's awesome. Okay, we only need 39 more of these seeds. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this real quick. We have one right here. We also have one across the street over here. And we just need one more seed. And we'll be done. And that's 500 seeds. Time to head back to the garrison. Now we should be able to purchase the level 3 herb garden. Here it is. You can queue that up for upgrade. Now that we've maxed out our herbalism, I think it's fitting to max out alchemy as well. So let's go to our alchemist. Here we go. And let's start working on alchemy. I'm pretty sure we need some of these Secrets of Draenor Alchemy books in order to unlock some of the harder recipes. I'm going to go ahead and craft, uh, I don't know, like, let's do 10. They don't really cost anything outside of Frostweed, which is, oh, okay. We can only craft one at a time. That's okay. Go ahead and get the agility flask and we need a bunch of crystal vials i'm just going to buy a stack of like 200. let's go ahead and do all 18 of the agility flasks there we go that put us at level 20. you can also craft a bunch of these intellect potions let's just do a stack of 30 to get us to 50. okay so we made 50 and it looks like we can still get experience from these so let's just queue up like 25 more okay it doesn't look like we're getting any more levels with these Let's go ahead and go back to the Trainic Agility Flask and continue making these. I need to go buy some Fireweed real quick. It's super nice having the Auction House here, so I don't have to go back and forth. Let's get back to crafting. We made 14 of these. It looks like these are still giving me guaranteed skill ups. I didn't want to commit too hard to this because I didn't know if this is going to run out. But I'm going to go ahead and restock and come back. Try to get to 100 with just these agility flasks. Let's go ahead and queue up 30 and hopefully the experience doesn't run out. Okay, we just hit 90 and it looks like it's still guaranteeing a skill up every single time we complete it. There we go. We max out Drainer Alchemy. And since we're on the topic of professions, we might as well go work on our cooking. Let's see what we need for that. Where do we get these recipes? I'm going to go ahead and buy some fish. We just start cooking. And let's put down a cooking fire. All right, let's queue up 10 of these grilled saber fish. Okay, and just as I thought, you get the recipes from just doing the cooking. Cool. Yeah, I wasn't really sure. It did say drainer cooking recipes. That's the way we discover it. But I was able to figure it out on my own without having to go on Wowhead. Let's go ahead and learn all these recipes. Oh, we got Iron Chef. We learned 200 recipes. It's a pretty good milestone. Let's go ahead and make a few of these. I'm going to buy 100 of these crepes. Oh, oops. I bought the wrong crepes. I bought the calamari crepes already done. We need 100 of these Rylac crepes. There we go. Okay. And if my inventory wasn't filled with enough random food and fragrance, now it's even more full with random stuff. Okay, there we go. We got some more recipes. I mean, just to keep it interesting, let's go ahead and make some of the surf and turf. So we need 100 of these steaks and 100 of the steam scorpion. Go to cooking and queue up 20 of these. We ran out of fire. Go ahead and learn the rest of these recipes that I unlocked. Okay, that hit is 72. Let's look at some of the other recipes that we can make that are somewhat cheaper. Okay, yeah, this is 
pretty cheap. I could buy a hundred more of the fiery calamari. I'm going to sit down and eat all of these real quick for the achievement before I sell all of them. Let's get everything out of the mail and continue to cook. We've gotten to 80 and this has become yellow instead of the guaranteed skill up. Yeah, it looks like we need to craft these feasts to get the last 13 levels. Okay, let's put another fire down. And hopefully this hits us max level for cooking for Draenor. And 100. Nice. That is max trainer cooking. That was pretty much it. All of the professions that I had outside of fishing is now max level for trainer. It's awesome. What can we work on next for the garrison specifically? To get the storehouse, which is what we have over here to level three, I need to get a total of 10,000 gold in Draenor. I'm really, really close. What is this like 880 away? Let me look up the fastest way I can get this gold and see if I can do that real quick and queue up another building to get upgraded. I tried a few methods to get the gold up through buying these bloody gold purses from the trading post and it doesn't look like it counts towards the achievement. So I'm going to go ahead and go work on some of the reputations that we were able to complete last episode, but I didn't get the mounts because of whatever uh, resources I was missing. Like I know one, for example, is the claw reputation. Yeah, let's go ahead and backfill some of the stuff here and then we can pass so we work on getting the gold up through, you know, just killing mobs and some of the rares in this area. Okay, we have our first rare here and let's see how much gold we'll get from this. Zero. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> the first reputation I'd like to backfill would be the Saber Stalkers. Yeah, last time I was here, I didn't have enough of these Black Fang Claws, so I didn't get any of the mounts or any of the pets either. Perfect. And these guys drop gold as well. So I'll be here for a while. Been here for about 30 minutes and I already have a thousand of the Black Fang Claws. I need 6,000 for the mounts and then I think it's 500 for the pet. So a total of 6,500. That's what one sixth of the way there. But hopefully I can get this done in just a few hours. There we go. We just got past 2,000 claws. Okay, we're doing this. We're getting the claws and we're also getting the money from these guys. I think I'm really lucky because there's no one else farming this. I've had a couple people show up and they saw that I was already farming it and they just decided to fly away. That's definitely speeding up the grinds. All right, we're super close to the 10,000 gold. Let's go ahead and kill these mobs. And oh, okay, there it is. Perfect. Now we get to have the storehouse level three and we are 4,000 claws in out of the 7,500 that I need. I think that would be a pretty good time to run back real quick and queue up the storehouse and then I'll go back to the grind. Okay, let's go to the blueprint vendor and we can pick up storehouse level three and we can queue up the storehouse. Looks like the herbalism building is complete. So let's go ahead and get it to level three. There we go. And herb garden level three. Okay, let's take a look at it. Okay, it looks significantly larger. And I wonder if she has anything else for sale. She does not. Okay, cool. I'm assuming there's probably like more stuff or the, like the plants go up faster. There's more plots for them. This is the level three herb garden. So we queued up the storehouse for level three. Now let's get back to the grinds. There we go. And we just got the achievement for getting 5,000 claws. That means that we are two thirds of the way done. This right here should hit us above the 7,600 that I need. So that means we're done with this grind. Let's go ahead and get our rewards. Let's talk to this guy. All right, let's purchase the 1,000 mount, the 5,000 mount, the pet, and we also have enough for the contract as well. So let's go ahead and claim the contract. We got a combat rogue. Let's take a look at the pet. And then let's go ahead and look at both of these mounts. This is the Wild Gore Tusk. This one cost me 1,000 of the Wild Fang Claws. Now let's go to take a look at the other one. This is the Bristol Hellbore. Okay, that's a interesting design. That really wasn't too bad. It didn't really take me too much time. Probably say all together about two hours. Yeah, overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy we got two mounts. So now we can go back to the garrison. Let's go ahead and check on our construction. Here we go, the storehouse should be finished, and it is. And finalize it. There we go, storehouse level three. So now we get the void storage, we get the transmog guide here, and I believe there's a 10 or 15% boost to the amount of orders 
like the amount of work orders I can submit. Let's go ahead and finish all these missions real quick. So in order to get barracks level three, we need to do three more garrison patrol missions. And from what I've read online, the way that you can tell if it's a patrol mission is that it has the fly glass icon right here. So let's go ahead and send our people out. Now we wait for the three patrol missions to be finished and I can go ahead and upgrade my barracks. I ended up getting the 50 garrison patrol mission achievement completed. I can start working on getting barracks to level three. Cool. It'll be done in an hour and it's tomorrow. So let's go ahead and finish our barracks. There we go. Barracks level three. Pretty much I'm done with the garrison for now. Everything else will probably just take me some more time. Like I know the salvage yard. I just need to keep getting the salvage pouches from finishing the missions. And then once I get a hundred of those, I can upgrade the salvage yard. The lumber mill will also take me some time. I just have to submit 75 work orders to Justin. And then after that, I'll unlock the level three lumber mill. So as for the docks, I have to finish some more missions for the docks. And then I'll need 2,500 garrison resources for that. And then the fishing hut, I believe I have to fish 100 of every single fish. So that's going to take a while. I think I'm going to leave the garrison for now. We did some pretty good progress. We got a lot of buildings to level three and we got a lot of achievements to go with it. But before we go, there is a merchant in here that I forgot to purchase things from. And let me go ahead and find her. Here she is. And we can purchase two mounts from her, the battle boar and the cliff stomper. Let's go ahead and claim these and take a look at them. Okay, so that is the Battle Boar, and this is actually a reskin of the other Battle Boar that I was able to get. Now let's take a look at the other mount, which is the Cliff Stomper. That looks pretty cool. Uh, let me see if it is also a recolor. Okay, it's not, or at least I'm not seeing it that it is in the pet menu. And I just wanted to finish that up because that was a merchant that I completely forgot about in my last episode. Also, I've been grinding these uh, Pexus crystals and there was a lot of mounts that we couldn't get because I didn't have these crystals. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a few of those until I pretty much run out of these crystals. Yep. And if I recall correctly, a lot of these were on this small island of Ashran. And I'm pretty sure I have a teleport that will take me all the way over there in my garrison. Yeah, it's right here. Go ahead and find all of those quartermasters. They're in this building right here. I think I'm going to only stick to mounts because I don't really have that many crystals at the moment. So I'll save the pets and or the companions for later. Let's go ahead and buy the mount from the Exarchs. Let's go to the Steam Weedles. Grab this mount right here. We have the Outcasts. Got a mount right here. Go ahead and claim all three of these. And the first one is going to be the Shadow Main Charger. This is definitely a recolor of some of the other mounts that we've already gotten. Let's claim the Dusty Rock Hide. Another elephant. Nice. Okay, I kind of like the saddle on, on this elephant. The color scheme is really, really nice. Then we have the Razorback, which is another recolor. It has a little bit more detail than the other one that we have. And right now we're at 244 out of 250 mounts. So we're making some pretty good progress on that as well. But now I think I'd like to go back to Pandaria and finish up some of those reputations that I've been working on every day and go ahead and claim those mounts. I've been saving a lot of these so I can record them. There was one reputation that I accidentally claimed like the War Scouts a signet thing and it got me the exalted for the Klaxi. So that was another reputation that I finished up that I haven't really mentioned in the last two episodes because they were kind of busy with pretty much wad, just kind of taking up most of my time these last couple weeks. So the first reputation that we're going to finish up is going to be the Order of the Cloud Serpent. All of these dailies are complete now. Let's turn these in. Hopefully these three hit me exalted. One, two, there we go. And we're exalted. Let's go ahead and join the Order of the Cloud Serpent and claim our mount. Finish this quest. And there we go. We got the Reigns of the Jade Cloud Serpent mount. Go ahead and mount up. And I really like the Serpent mounts. They're very colorful and kind of really appealing to use. So, and I enjoy kind of the little wobble that you get from flying on these serpent mounts. On to our next reputation. This one we already hit Exalted with last week, but I just didn't, I completely forgot to buy the mounts from them. That's going to be the Tiller reputation. So let's go ahead and make our way over there and claim those mounts. Yeah, here we go with the Tiller Quartermaster. And there's actually three mounts here. And so we have the Reigns of the White Riding Goat. Let's go take a look at this one. 
That's a very interesting and unique mount. I don't think there is anything similar to it in the game right now, or at least not that I know of. We have the black goat, basically the black version of it. And then we have the brown version of it. So these are pretty much the same three recolors. There's really nothing too different about them. We're basically two mounts away from getting 250 mounts on one character. Our next reputation is going to be the anglers. Yeah, so I believe the anglers have one mount, but they also have a ton of cool toys. And I'm really looking forward to the raft one specifically. Turn this in. And there we go. Exalted with the anglers. Let's take a look at what you got for us. Got some rep recipes that I already have. A fishing pole that I think we can use for. Then we have the companion. Let's take a look at that. Just a magic carp looking fish. We have the raft, cabard, and of course the mount. And I can't get some of these other ones because I don't have exalted with Nat Pagel, which is a separate sub reputation within this reputation right here. So I'll have to work on that and slowly get that up so I can get the last two things from this quartermaster. And that actually reminds me, I completely forgot again, for whatever reason, to check out the rest of the stuff from the Tiller Quartermaster. So I'm going to go ahead and go back again and take a look at what they got. I don't know what it is with this reputation and why I keep forgetting about it. Uh, I am just not paying attention right now. I'm not sure. Let's take a look at everything that they have so we can get the Scarecrow. We have their Tabard. We have another toy. We have a unique flower thing. Let's see. I'll look into that later. And we have two cooking recipes. Let's go ahead and claim those. Let's look at the Scarecrow. Is it just going to put down like a scarecrow? Yep. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Time to claim the water strider mount. And if I'm not mistaken, this mount can walk on water. So let's go ahead and test that out. Okay. It can't. That's great. Um, let's go ahead and claim the fishing raft. See. Okay. So you can raft across water. There we go. Okay. Do I need to be in? Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, that's awesome. So this allows you to go out into the water and fish for spots that you normally wouldn't be able to reach from the shore. So this is really neat. I like it. Yeah, this is a very, very unique toy. So we have the anglers. We have the tillers complete. Now let's go ahead and finish up the golden lotus reputation. Let's go ahead and pick up all of these dailies. Yeah, this should be, this should be pretty quick. I'm a pro at, at doing all of these Pandera dailies now. Let's talk to these guys, turn these in. And there we go. We got the Golden Lotus to Exalted and we got a huge milestone for the account. We are at 50 reputations. And as you can recall, my goal was to get to 100. So that means that we're halfway there. And I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Honestly, I didn't expect to get this many reputations this quickly. And I really thought that these reputations in Pandaria would take a lot longer. But with the addition of the 100% reputation increase after you hit Revered, it definitely speeds it up once you get to that point. Yeah, there is one reputation here that's going to take me a really, really long time. And that's the Emperor Shao Hao reputation. There's only one daily quest and I mean, there's only like a few mobs that give you a reputation and it's really not that much. So this is going to be a really, really long grind to, to get it, but I'll definitely be working on it. All right, here's the Golden Lotus Quartermaster and he has a total of three mounts. So let's go ahead and purchase all of these. We can also buy the Tabard and there are some transmog pieces that I'm just going to pick up as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at these mounts. There we go. That's the first mount completed. And we hit another huge milestone of 250 mounts. Like again, that is halfway towards my goal of 500 mounts. So it looks like the exalted reputations and mounts are lining up kind of nicely. So this is the first mount, the golden riding crane. Now we have the other, the regal riding crane. These are pretty much going to be the same three mounts. Here we go. And we have the azure riding crane. And we also got a mount for getting 250 mounts, like for getting the achievement. And let me just go ahead and pull that one up. There we go. And this is the Fellfire Hawk, which actually looks really, really sick. I love that color. That's awesome. Our next reputation is going to be in the Dread Wastes, and it's going to be the Claxi. Here we go. Here's the Claxi Quartermaster, and we can buy the Reigns of the Amber Scorpion from this guy. We're going to pick up the Tabard as well. We already pretty much have everything besides the weapons. Go ahead and pick all of those up. Perfect. And let's take a look at the Reigns of the Amber Scorpion. 
There we go. Okay, I like it. I think it has very interesting colors and definitely a unique mount. I think I have a couple other scorpion mounts, but I'm pretty sure I got those from doing PvP. And okay, now it's time to go north to Town Long Steps and finish up the Shadow Pan reputation. It feels so good to get all of these reputations done. They've been sitting at almost exalted for I think like two weeks now. Let's go ahead and pick up this round of dailies. These four are complete. Go turn them in. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I thought I wasn't gonna hit Exalted. There we go. That is the Shadow Pen reputation to Exalted. Now let's go ahead and see what we got here. Okay, time to go ahead and just buy all the transmogs. Let's go ahead and buy the mounts. There's three of them here. So this is the Red Shadow Pan Riding Tiger. I mean, the tiger itself is green, but I guess the armor is red. So let's get the reins of the green shadow and rider tiger. Good Lord, that is a long title. Okay, I definitely like this one over the first one. And let's get the last mount. That is the blue shadow pan riding tiger. Uh, I think this one is still better than the first one, but I think I like the second one a lot better. I think that's pretty much it when it comes to the reputations in Pandaria. I have the Operation Shield Wall, which I'm actively working on getting to Revered. The Kirin Tor Offensive, which is on the Isle of Thunder. I'm also working on that one every single day. Then we have the Shadow Pan Assault. This actually is a reputation that I completely missed. You gain reputation with it by doing the Throne of Thunder raid by killing bosses. You pretty much get reputation with it. So I'll be clearing that every single week and working on getting that to Exalted. I think the next closest one I have is the August Celestials. So I'll probably hit Exalted with them next episode. And then the Black Prince, I need to still look into that. I don't really know how to get reputation with it or how I even got this much reputation with them. Then when it goes to Cataclysm, the Adventures of the Hyjal is really, really close to getting Exalted. I don't think I'm going to hit Exalted with two runs. Uh, so I'll probably save that one for next week to get the guaranteed Exalted. And that's going to be the last reputation for Cataclysm. I guess we can toss this reputation in here as well. I got the Keg Legs Crew to level 40. That's the new Plunderstorm event that Blizzard put out. And I ended up just maxing them out. So I guess we can call that another Exalted reputation. I don't know if it really counts towards the achievement. So I'm uh, 50-50. I'm just not going to count it. It doesn't look like it counts towards the achievement, so I'm just going to leave it out. But I did get two mounts from it and a transmog set, which I'm going to show off. I will count these towards the mounts because they, they did count towards the mounts achievement, I'm pretty sure. So let's take a look at the Silver Tide Stallion. This is actually an underwater mount. There we go. It's another seahorse. Then the other mount is the Royal Sea Feather. That is... Pretty much a, just a big parrot. I'm a big fan. I like it. And then the mount that you get for getting Renown level 39 is called the Polly Roger, which is pretty much the same mount, right? But with like a pirate hat on it. Oh, okay. This is the first time I actually got to use it. I just claimed it, never opened it. Um, I didn't know it was a dragon flying mount. So that's so cool. Look at that. I mean, this is great that the new mounts that they're incorporating, they're going to have a mode where you can fly like the Dragonflight mounts. I know there is some people that still want to fly like the old school style. And I think that would be kind of interesting if they maybe had like a toggle switch where you can like switch from Dragonflight to old, old school mount flight type. If they're using the same models, I guess, for these mounts, then maybe the development wouldn't be that bad, but that's definitely not up to me. So we'll see what they do with that. I kind of enjoyed the Plunderstorm event. I don't know if I'm going to be grinding to a million of those plunder coins. I'll still thinking about it, but let me know if you guys want like a tips or a tricks video or kind of a way to make the grind more bearable. I mean, there's definitely people out there that do not like it, but they want these cosmetics. Yeah, just let me know if you want like a small guide on how to how to get consistently more plunder or how to kind of make the grind more bearable if you're not like a big fan of it. And then there's also a transmog set. So I'm going to go ahead and show that off as well. And for the sake of time, I'm only going to show off the one that you get for level 40. So here it is. I kind of like the transmog. 
I, I think it looks really cool. It's very detailed. I like the little floating wisps around it. And also something that I just haven't had the chance to do. I know a lot of people have been asking for an add-ons video or some of the add-ons that I've been using. That's definitely coming next, no matter if people ask for the Plunderstorm video or not. And then there's some people that have been asking for my UI setup. So I'll also work on that. But yeah, I've been thinking about switching my UI for the upcoming season, since I technically have two UIs. I have one UI that I use for collecting and making these videos, and I have a separate UI for the raid. And obviously you wouldn't want like cooldowns and stuff and all this random stuff on, on the screen that I'm collecting. So I might make a video where I revamp my UI and make it to where I have the raid one for the current content. And then I have one that switches to like this collector UI where it kind of removes you know, some of the some of the cooldowns, some of the buttons and just makes it look a lot cleaner because there's some stuff about my UI that I don't really like that I can just work on and improve. And my raid UI is pretty bad compared to some of the other people. It works for me, but I kind of want to move on from that as well. But on that note, I'm going to end the video. I have no idea how many mounts I got or reputations. I haven't been keeping track, so stick around for the ending segment, and then I'll let you know all of the things that I've collected this week. You already know I appreciate you if you've made it this far into the video. The tally for this week is 23 mounts or reputations to Exalted and a total of 380 achievement points. We made a lot of progress on the mounts front this week, so I'm really happy with that. Next week, we have the Legion Time Walking event, so I'm really hyped to dive into that expansion and work on the Legion Lore Master achievement. As always, if you like the content, feel free to subscribe, leave a like, and drop a comment. It definitely helps out a lot.